Hello, and welcome to the next episode of Undungeon. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. I will meeting with Mota. I assume that he's a vehicle. <laughs> How'd you get it, Mota? <laughs> Help me. I don't know where we go, but we bloody go somewhere, right? The techno hub. Oh bloody hell, this motor guy. I'll admit, he is sounding like a bit of a um, DJ. <laughs> the techno hub as a mirror here so this will be our first place to go <laughs> oh, we're only smoking mirrors we're only smoking mirrors tonight Boom, so here we are. And then boom, techno up. Techno, 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 techno. Bloody hell. Dungeons of the Wasteland. The day of your ascension has come. The gods have returned. A herald is with us. Don't be afraid, people. You will all be saved, but only a few of you will travel. Ah, I can't read it quick enough. Okay, then I'll just let him speak and I'll just stand still. <laughs> Build the hub with, in with inhabitants of the key dimension. Tarak, you're alive, but you died. I saw it. You... I don't know what it was, but something brought me back to life. Maybe it's because I was next to the Herald. I don't know what it was. Are you going to ask me for a sutra? It's in your hands, Herald. You decide who will go to the new world with you in their current body, and who will become a building block of that world. One way or another, we'll all end up there. I will understand if you decide to leave me here, and I will accept your decision with honour. I sought the book that you brought me um, for a long time, and now that I hold it in my hands, I realise <clears throat> that whatever happens is for the best, even if it means dying along with this world. You said it's determination and resolve irradiating. For the nomad. I'm going to give him a sutra, because he was with Pal for like 10 minutes that I kept him alive, so he can have a sutra. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, so how many people are here? Oh, right. But see, everyone can get one then. <laughs> hey, hi, Harold. So always if the nomad is a little tipsy, his essence is murky and vicious. <clears throat> Granny said you'd take me with you. You will, right? Like, I'll just give everyone one. You get it. Oh no, there, Harold. I know I have lived quite a long life. But with the wealth of knowledge my age brings... Um... Brings with it. it will prove useful to the new world, won't I? I humbly ask you to spare me a sutra. There we are, let's just give him one. I don't... The hunchback shaman falls to his knees in front of you, raising his arms in supplication. Oh, venerable vet herald, you may not have brought me the book, but you made my visions real. Allow me to accompany you and bear witness to your feats. I don't... I'm just gonna give everyone fade. Herald, you need a farmer, right? <clears throat> I mean, someone has to grow fangots. Boom. Is 
think everyone's supposed to go in anyway. <clears throat> Paris smiles hap happily upon seeing you. I knew I would find you here. I'm interested in these such as um, you use to move between dimensions. If you're ready for a research, pretty much search for it. Yes. Uh, how much would you want for it? Let's say a hundred essence with the friends of this account. That thinks for a moment then flashes another wide smile. Thank you. I see this price really is to my benefit. I won't forget this, Harold. You saved my students. I have new ones now too. Save all of us, you'll have a whole tribe of way. Oh. Thank you for your benevolence, Harold. But I've lived far too long to cling to my life and leave my young ones behind. If they cannot be saved, then I'll share the fate with them. I respect your decision. Hmm. So wait, so do Bloody idiot. Because you have not just been like, okay. Because now we have to actually find people who want to be here. Makes a lot, fucking. Wait, I'm, it's blocked, so. I can't leave this place. But who else can I give a suit such a to? There's actually no one else here that they can give one to. Um. Press F. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I wanted everybody to be here, but you didn't want to join. So what, do I just go into it? Press F. Marquee. Oh, it's a it's a fucking Ah, uh, a bit. I can kill him here. Boom. Ah, oh, shit. Oh shit. Heal. Nice. Okay then, you stand there. You stand there. 420, blaze it. Boom, perfect. <laughs> Press off again. We're meeting with Motor. Boom. Oh, elevator.
monk ass. This is very intense music. Release the creature. I don't want to. It'll attack me. Oh, damn, a cutscene. We've had one in a while. Monkey ass. <laughs> Is this motor? No, wow, what's happened? Whoa, he's disappeared. Bloody hell, what's happening? F. Can I destroy these? No, okay. Oh, that's a let down. Bloody hell, is this Dark Souls? Do you have elevators? <laughs> Whoa, this is quite beautiful. This is quite pretty. <laughs> that is not, that's quite scary. Before you is a huge and mechanical head with a face that bears no resemblance to the beings of the old world. From under the beings' thick outer plates, you hear the hum of powerful transformers and the hiss of capacitors interrupted at random intervals. Even someone with no understanding of technology would understand that the machine is glitching, operating at the limits of its capacity. I am the Herald, Void. The metallic surface of the being ripples the sound of your name. Okay, he's put me in the box. <clears throat> I've already sent the mass to the well defended center of the techno hub. You will not be able to take it by force or even find it. So you prefer to fall further into the abyss. We have a plan to save everyone. You have no choice. If you don't give me your mass, we're all going to die. We're desperate. Give it a mass and maybe we'll find a place for you and yeah, let's do this one. In a new reality. Ignorance, you do not deserve my mass. You do not understand what you are doing. I have calculated all possible variations of the future. Your plan does not work in any of them. How likely is it that you made a meth methodological error in your calculations? Not very. I ran all the numbers and checked every variation. I could find the results was always the same. The vectors of space-time and neurosociology do not converge. You have no chance. I don't believe that the universe is deterministic. We choose our own destiny. Believe whatever you want. Math is never wrong. I mean, if you're bad at maths, it is. The immortals guiding you are just children. They have no idea what they're doing. Only the gods can fix this. Kisatra revealed the truth to me. I know how to balance the universe. Trust me. I can prove my calculations are correct. Before the destruction, Kisatra sent a message for the gods to the gods that said the world will be reborn by itself. Be patient. Perhaps this is all part of his plan. Ha ha ha. You sense Motus consciousness throwing itself into one final surge. Reality doesn't have to be destroyed to save it. There's another path. We can use Shilamanta's system of mirrors to create a world without pain or suffering. A world with enough space for everyone. This technology would solve all our problems. You trust him and his technology? The new structure will create a universe where anything is possible. <clears throat> Just imagine a world without suffering. The void dimension was free of pain and suffering. Was that because there was no life there? Is that what you want? The void dimension was free of pain and suffering. Was that because there was no life there? Is that what you want? Oh bloody hell. Zero one one oh bloody hell binary code. Zero one 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 zero one one zero 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 zero. Bloody hell! Of course not, you don't get it. He's mad. 
Melter falls into a deep complication. You sense lightning in his consciousness, blasting millions of faults into pieces as he tries to process every possible variation. It seems like it wouldn't take much more for his head to explode from internal overclocking. Motor finishes his calculations and turns to you. Your conclusions do not conceive me, but I would give you my mass. Now that you are here, I am better able to calculate that it makes no difference where the mass ends up. But your decision does make a difference, Harold. What do you mean? I will give you my mass, but I have two conditions. The first is that I remain in the Q dimension. I don't think you will object to this. The second condition is more of a request, because I realize that it is your decision to make in the end, Harold. Heed the will of Geomantis. Try and understand the integrity of the mirror system. Don't be dismissive of this high technology. <clears throat> I will give your request careful consideration. Fine, Harold, the mass is yours. I hope you'll listen to me. Good luck. Say nothing. F. Well, to Viticus. <clears throat> That's it then. The motor is gone. I did not know him well, but he seemed a decent god. He integrated into civilization quite well for a primordial wild animal element, and did a lot of good for Arkabam. It is time to begin the absorption of the Q dimension and get to work on Lutaland. The keeper will bring the mortals you gave Sutras to to the hub as soon as you start the process. We have already taken care of the plants and animals, which was a simpler matter. Alright, so let's get building a new... Do I have any side quests? <laughs> no, no side quests. Loading. Let's do it, let's absorb. In process. In process. In process. In process. Characters fade. Oh, nice. I am right. Let's read. I am at the end of this world without regrets. You believe the Herald had done everything he could to help. Um, and the simple Alonzo could be lost to oblivion, and the fate of the rest of the world was at stake. I enjoyed a meal with students. One final hunt. Oh wow! Vinegar rune. Boom. Right, okay. So there's like different phase you can get? Ah, oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Whoa, who's this? <clears throat> the Keeper. Harold. She smiles in her body, excuses joyful energy. While one pair of arms gesture in greetings, the other two are working with sutras, measuring the tension of the threads and building models of transient dimensions. Everything must have gone well. You look happy. When Arkaban fell, I lost my home and all of my friends and sisters. Only my duty as Keeper of the Eye kept me alive. Returning from the edge of existence revived my hope. It is wonderful to see and feel alive and whole again. And I think the universe can be fixed now. You probably noticed that the structure of the hub has changed. Maybe you should take a look around and see what's different. Oh damn. 
I need some bloody more of these bloody things. Oh damn. The hub is gradually coming to life. And new laws are coming into effect. Future sentient life may be emerging somewhere in the dark corners of this dimension. I wonder if it will think of you as its pro um, progenitor. Pro progenitor. Yeah. I'm done last and instantly become serious. You have a difficult decision to make, Harold. The future identity of the universe depends on your choice. That shady guy in, in the hat, I don't like what he's up to. He calls himself Gilamantus, but I think I knew him by different names. Is he lying by it? It's past? Perhaps. An immortal risks pain dearly for a big mouth. But I don't know for sure. And I don't want to spread gossip. I'll just warn you, Harold. Keep an eye on him. Greetings, Harold. So you still have many difficult choices to make, but you're doing great. Well done. I have questions. What do you have planned? I want to preserve the mirror dimensions. We'll use them to avoid problems of space. We won't need birth control, and there won't be nearly as many silly balls over a little dirt. Does that mean the old problems will still be around? They'll still be around if nothing is done. The other immortals just want to divide the mass like loot and let everyone do whatever they want with their share. If you only rely on primordial matter, then the new reality will be tiny. Everyone will immediately go for each of his throats and will drown in blood. Click, click, click. Loads of information. Loads of information. Click, click, click. There we are, boom. <laughs> Hello, flying tomb. Yeah, maybe I should repair this because... I have two of them. But yeah, I think we'll end it there then. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like in the comment section. Leave a comment on the... No. Leave a comment on the like button. Like the bell and ring of the comment section. Change it up a bit. I'll see you next time.